What's going on, Plan Army? Jacob here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your YouTube partner background clickable like this. So you can see that there's links over these titles I have. Our channel name, this goes to Twitter, Facebook, Twitch TV. It opens up to all these links, and they all work perfectly. And so I'll show you how to do this so that you can make a an interactive community where people can go visit your sites and go buy merchandise and stuff like that. So what you'll have to start off to do is you're gonna have to bring up your um, your background in something like paint and paint makes it really easy because it's just simple and you don't have to deal with other options and uh, all that stuff. So just open up your background like this and then you're only gonna need the top part of your background which we'll call your banner so you just take that and make sure that all of the parts of your image are selected that you want to make clickable so all I did there was grab the select tool and drag it over that entire thing now just click control X now just go over here hit new don't save that and hit control V now click crop and it'll bring your banner right here so you have it right there now just save this as like something like banner in your pictures and you're done you can close that up now all you have to do is bring up a site called here I'll, I'll bring you to it image mapping we'll just type that in it's called imagemaps.com with a hyphen in between. Um, I'll bring you a link down there, but you can easily find it yourself too. Um, I'm in Firefox right now because I found that with Google Chrome I was having some issues with it. It wasn't really letting me do what I wanted it to do, but I don't know if that'll be a problem for you, so you can go ahead and give it a shot, but I know Firefox works. So just click here from your PC, browse, and find your banner. Uh, here it is and just click start mapping your image and you just have to wait 10 seconds because this is a free site and I guess I need to run ads so that it's profitable I don't know but we'll just patiently wait these 10 seconds continue to next step and it'll show a picture of your image okay so this is really simple actually it's not as complicated as you think it is you just have to click um, the rectangle tool, custom shape. I don't really recommend going into that because rectangle things, the rectangle tool is really simple and effective. So you can just take your rectangle tool, extend the box to the height you need it, and it goes around your image like that. Um, type in the link you want. This will be for us. Um, it'll be, sorry socialblade.com which is our partnered network so just go to the website you want and copy the link you can go back and paste it in here and you can just test the link to make sure that it it'll actually work when someone clicks on it it brings you there good and so you can just click uh, yeah you can just click save and that that is done now I've already gone through and created all the other links but uh, I've done that before so just go ahead and do that for all the links you want you can do it for Twitch TV your channel Twitter Facebook whatever and once you're done mapping your image click get your code right here once you're at this page you're gonna see all these tabs at the top but where you're gonna wanna click is HTML code this just it's a whole bunch of complicated I don't know, equations, or not equations, but signs and numbers and stuff, but that doesn't really matter. Just uh, highlight it and copy it. Now just go into your channel, and assuming you already have your background um, applied, just go into the channel settings, and you can see this. This is my um, code that I entered so you just have to enter your code and when you're you just click done editing and if everything worked out fine you did what I told you to do 
this should all be working fine and you can click on all of these it'll bring you to your desired site so uh, that's about it guys for image mapping uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time